Hello dear fascinating friends, today we are studying the Roman numerals! And why it is important? Well, because you can see some films with Roman numerals, you can see also some uh, watches, some chapter books, and many other places where you find this kind of numeral system invented by Romans before Jesus Christ. And now, I'm gonna tell you what are the main numbers that you have to remember in order to write all Roman numerals. Let's go, friends! First of all, you have to learn how to write the first ten numbers. For the first three numbers, you have to write an I. One. But if you have to write the two, you're going to write two I's and three I's. Maximum three I's. After that, you have to be careful because you must remember the number five. V. And if you know the five, the four is a subtraction because five minus one is four. And for the six, five plus one is six. And for the seven, five plus two. And five plus Three for the eight. Very important to remember the number five. And very important to remember the number one. Because if you know how the one is, you can write the two and the three. And if you know how the five is, you can write the four, five minus one, the six, five plus one, the seven, five plus two, the, f the eight, five plus three. And finally, for the ten, you have to remember how to write the ten number, an X. And after that, the nine will be ten minus one. So here it is very important, the number ten. Then, if you remember the first number, the last number, and the number in the fifth place, that's all. The first three numbers have some rules. After that, the five following numbers, other rules, and the last two numbers, other rules. So, if you have understood those numbers, here you'll see that it is the same for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. How can it be? Well, you're going to remember that the 10, 10 is X. The same logic, 20 double X, 30 triple X, maximum triple X, triple I, triple X, and after that, we're going to remember the 50 on L, and 40 will be L minus the first symbol, minus X, which is the same. And 60 will be 50 plus the first symbol, 10. And 70, 50 plus 20. And 80, 50 plus 30. The first symbol, two times the first symbol, three times. And after that, you're going to remember 100. 100 is a C. So, 90 will be C minus the first symbol. 
minus 10. That's 90. And 100 is C. You have to remember the 10. After that, the 50 symbol. And after that, the 100 symbol. And it is the same. Two numbers with the same logic. Five numbers using some rules. And three numbers using other rules. After that, if you have understood that and that, you can learn 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, and 1000. It is the same. You remember 100, and for 200, twice, for 300, triple C. You remember C, and it is the same logic. After that, you learn the 500, a D. You remember very well that D. And for writing 400, you write V minus the first symbol, 100. And for 600, you write 500 plus the first symbol, 100. And for 700, 500 plus 200. And for 800, 500 plus 300. Very simple, the same logic. And for the last two numbers, you remember 1000 is an M. So 900 will be 1000 minus the first symbol, 100. Very simple. These two numbers follow the same rules, the same rules. Five numbers with the same rules, the same rules. Three numbers with the same rules. After that, if you know how 1000 is, you write 1000, 2000, 3000, 4000, 5000, 6000, 7000, 8000, 9000, and 10000. So you remember that 1000 is an M, 2000 MM, 3000 MMM, and the same rules. And you remember that symbol. After that, you remember 5000. It is very, very simple. 5000. A line over the 5. You remember that? And for 4000, the same rules. 5000 minus the M symbol. Also, you'll find that there are people writing the number 4 with one line over the 4. It is the same. Also, 6000 could be the number 6 with a line. But you can also say 5000 plus the first symbol. 5000 plus the first symbol twice. 5000 plus the first symbol three times. And after that, you remember 10,000 is like that. And 9,000, 10,000 minus the first symbol. And now you know the logic of the Roman numerals. With those numbers, you can write everything. Because if you want to write 11, 10 plus 1, 
x i if you want to write 332 write 300 after that 30 after that 2 it's very simple finally we're gonna see that 1 million Two million, three million, and theoretically, you can write only until three million nine hundred and ninety-nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. But there are some people that are writing more than three million, four million, five million, etc. Let's see. 1 million will be a thousand, one thousand times. 2 million, 2,000, 1,000 times. 3 million, 3,000, 1,000 times. And four million could be four with two lines over the four. The last example how to write two million seven hundred and ninety eight thousand four hundred and ninety nine. So for that, we are going to write two million. So, for that number, we're going to write 2 million. First of all, 2 million. Seven hundred and ninety-eight thousand. So, 798,000. After that, 499. 400. And 99. And that's all, folks. Remember that when we talk about Roman numerals, we are studying a numeral system where the position is not important. We talk about an addition system, not a positional system, like our number system. In our system, if you write the number 1 at the middle of the number, it is not the same than writing the number 1 at the end of the number. We have a positional system. Thank you very much for watching, dear friends. Please subscribe to our channel. See you next time.